United States has started airstrikes in Syria about two years ago to destroy ISIS infrastructure. But the main objective of United States airstrikes were to topple Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria. In the meantime, ISIS used to spread with a huge space and it wreaked havoc in Middle Eastern countries. About one and a half month ago, Vladimir Putin, a Russian president, has decided to intervene in Syrian politics. Russian air forces has started tremendous air raids in Syria. It has caused huge damage to ISIS manpower, military power and infrastructure. Russian airstrikes were basically intended to destroy ISIS structure. But it proves after one and a half month after striking, starting is strikes on ISIS, that ISIS is a collateral damage of Russian air action. And the main victim of Russian air strikes in Syria is United States military and foreign policy. Obama administration's shoddy policies on Syria and Islamic State has exposed by Russian strikes. Since last two years presence in Syria, United States has only given priority to topple Bashar al-Assad regime and to arm pre-Syrian army rebels which were fighting bloody battle against Assad regime. Bashar al-Assad, an egoistic Syrian president, might be a threat to Syrian people. He might have unleashed a bloodshed in Syria. But US policies in Syria were more dangerous than Assad. And ultimate intervention by Russian Air Force under Vladimir Putin's leadership has dealt a severe blow to US, US policies. Thus, after one and a half month of Syrian intervention, it proves that Vladimir Putin is heading towards the center stage of world politics. He has proven that wherever US policies will fail, Russians will go ahead with their own vertical approach. If we analyze US policies in Syria, we can't describe it as a vertical or a horizontal, but it is a total scrambling, confusion, bewilderness, apathy and foolishness. The sheer bloodshed unleashed by ISIS terrorists in Middle Eastern countries was the ultimate fallout of failed US policies. Otherwise, with such a mighty military power present in the region, ISIS would have succumbed to its pressure. But on the contrary, ISIS used to grow manifold within last two years of US presence in Syria. So as I said earlier, US was the ultimate victim of Russian inter intervention in Syria. And Russian airstrikes in Syria has main target of UN foreign and military policy and ISIS was a collateral damage.